So why do we need a series on basics of Catholicism? Today, many in the Church are heeding the call to the new evangelization, seeking to draw people into the Church, or those who may have fallen away, back to the Church, through an authentic living of the fullness of the Catholic faith. However, in recent decades, there has been a failure at times to pass on this fullness of the faith due to inadequate preaching and even through inconsistent or non-existent religious education. Likewise, in this time in which the church is suffering from scandal, it can appear as though the church no longer has clear-cut and consistent teaching. Therefore, I believe it's an urgent need that we cut through this confusion and present the basics of the Catholic faith in their simplicity and in the fullness of their clarity. But this needs to be more than just conveying of information. For, as with the new evangelization, the goal ought to be to bring people into an encounter with Jesus Christ, onto a personal relationship, or even friendship with Christ. There are already many good resources that speak to the content of the faith that are readily available. But in this moment of new evangelization, we need to do more than just pass on the information. Allowing people an opportunity to encounter Jesus Christ, showing them, as it were, the true depth of a lived relationship with him. And this series, I pray, will be a means to accomplish both, bringing about that opportunity for deeper or renewed encounter with Christ, along with the presentation of the very clear and simple teachings of Catholic faith. Accordingly, I will rely upon this beautiful resource, the New St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism, one that has been around for several decades, but may not be well known to many. The beauty of this New St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism is its clarity. The lessons are presented very briefly and without a lot of extra material, cutting to the heart of the matter. And therefore I will use the New St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism primarily as an outline, but also as a means of getting at the heart of the matter. But of course, we want to augment such terse, as it may be, outline with the fuller teaching of the Church from its own catechism, and likewise use the Catechism of the Catholic Church, given to us in the 1990s, as a means of continuing to open up even more opportunity for greater depth in learning our Catholic faith. The beauty of the Catechism is in its completeness, and as the book is intended as a reference, I will hope to, each week, present a number of paragraphs as further information for you to look at and to read and reflect upon in your own time and at your own pace. There will be a twofold approach to this basics of Catholicism. There will be short written columns in the bulletin each week, as well as these types of short video clips. The bulletin columns will give the very basic teaching, along with the references to the Catechism and perhaps other resources too for further reading. The videos will seek to expound in one way or another on what is presented in the bulletins, repeating, yes, that same information, but perhaps giving it a little bit more of a sense of the evangelization and the opportunity to encounter Jesus Christ. These videos will be made available each week on the St. Benedict's Church website. My hope and my prayer with this Basics of Catholicism journey would be that each and every one of us would be renewed in our encounter with Jesus Christ and truly desire a deeper friendship with him. He has called us to share eternal life with him forever in heaven. This is our very purpose which we will hear about right away in the very first installment of Basics of Catholicism. It is to this end that I hope and pray that each and every one of us will be drawn in to a 
deeper relationship with him. And I hope and pray that you will journey on this opportunity of learning again basics of Catholicism onto that eternal life that Jesus desires for us. Dear parishioners of St. Benedict's, I hope you've enjoyed this first video of Basics of Catholicism, this introduction. I do come to you asking your honest feedback and, for that matter, assistance in helping to make this series truly as beneficial as possible for as many as possible. And so please give me your opinions on this video, on those who, that follow it. Please also feel free to advise me on better ways to make videos, or perhaps if you yourself have that talent and want to assist me, I will welcome that anytime, as I by no means pretend to be one of the great video apologists or evangelists, such as our own diocese's Father Mike Schmitz, or Bishop Robert Barron, or anyone else who's out there doing great things on video. I simply want to follow a prompting to use video as your pastor as a means to reach even more people. And so I welcome your feedback. And thank you, may God bless you, and we will see you in due time.